Hey everybody, Cliff Ravenscraft here coming to you from my front porch, just hanging out before I start my work day. Technically, I've started my work day setting up this vlog today, and it has been work to get it set up. In fact, that's exactly what I wanted to talk about today, is the fact that sometimes I go in spurts when it comes to my creativity and my desire to create content. What was it, just about two weeks ago, I think I created at least one video piece of content for Facebook or my YouTube channel uh, every single day. And, and some of that content was like over an hour long, uh, at least on the Facebook Lives. And it was just like free flowing. I couldn't wait to go live. I couldn't wait to record something. I couldn't wait to put something out. And then I decided to upgrade to this awesome Canon EOS M6 uh, that allows me to shoot 1080p, 60 frames per second. I wait for the camera to come in. I'm like a little kid in Christmas time. Can't wait for the guy to show up. And then what happens? I like lose all passion for creating content for a couple days. I go in seasons. I go in spurts. I don't know if you guys ever deal with this, but I do. Sometimes I'm just like... I, I'm prolific with what I want to share and I want to talk and talk and talk and it's like, like I don't have anything to say. I mean, I've got all kinds of topics that are on my mind. It's just sometimes I find it difficult to create content unless I'm passionate in the moment about the content that I want to create. This past Saturday, I took my vlogging setup, this whole new camera gear that I have and put it on my bike and I rode to Cincinnati. And many of you probably saw my most recent vlog post, episode 99 of this vlog. By the way, this is vlog episode number 100 and Stephanie's like, what are you gonna do special for your 100th episode? And I'm like, I don't think it's gonna be special because I can't think of anything to talk about. And that's the topic of this vlog is when you don't have anything to talk about. So I grab all my gear, put it on my bike, and I figure I'm going to create a little short movie, if you will, of me riding my bike to Cincinnati, and then once I get to Cincinnati, then I'll actually say something. I'll actually have like a little monologue, but I'll be doing it from on location in Cincinnati, sitting on Fountain Square. And so I did that. I actually took my gear and, and I set it up. I actually created the, vid, you know, the film slash movie aspects of, of that ride. But then I got down on Fountain Square, I set up my camera on a little table, kind of like what I'm doing here, but I'm actually on Fountain Square, hanging out, there's, there's people all around, and, and it, it's not like I was nervous to talk in front of a camera, uh, because I actually did. I, there, there's footage that you guys will never see, but I recorded footage of me sitting down, talking into the camera, but here's the thing. I got on and, and I was like, hey everybody, Cliff Ravenscraft here, and I am coming to you from Fountain Square in Cincinnati. And then after that, I'm like, now what do I say? I have no idea. I mean, it's, and again, it's not that I didn't have topics because that day I was going to talk about the importance of rest and relaxation as an entrepreneur, as a self-employed person. But I couldn't come up with any, I couldn't talk with about it. I mean, the topic was there. And again, it wasn't that I was nervous about anybody around me. I was talking, but I just didn't feel it in my heart. I did not feel passion in my heart. And that's what I want to talk about today as well, is that I've been researching a lot of vlogs lately. I haven't been watching vlogs until recently. I did some research and I, I, on YouTube. I said, what are the top vlogs or the top 10 vlogs, top five vlogs? And I just did some searches there and I saw a bunch of vloggers who were uh, talking about what their top 10 vlogs, the, the best vlogs that they subscribe to. And I used that to see what the most popular vlogs out there are. And I saw a lot of overlap. I subscribed to a bunch of those top 10 vlogs and I've I decided that I'm gonna subscribe to all of them and I will unsubscribe from them as I find that they are not within my tastes. And I've unsubscribed from most of them. One thing I noticed is there are a lot of vloggers out there who are daily vlogging because they've been sold the idea that that's how you gain popularity. And unfortunately, some of them have... That's a cicada. <laughs> that's a loud cicada. But there are, there are some daily vloggers out there, they've got over a million subscribers, some of them two or three million subscribers, and the stuff that they're doing in their daily vlogs, I, it, I guess it appeals to a, a lot of people. 
Uh, and I know that there's a big discrepancy between the number of subscribers that you have and actually how many people are viewing your videos. But even even these daily vloggers that I'm, I'm like, where's the value in watching this? And and I'm just not I'm just not getting it. And but yet they get hundreds of thousands of views on their videos. And there and out of those hundreds of thousands, there's got to be a percentage that are really watching that whole thing from beginning to end. I guess it, it just different tastes for different people. But um, the one thing that I have decided is that consistency for consistency's sake, it's, it's just not my game. And so I bought this camera and I'm like, I'm gonna vlog, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something from Fountain Square, that's what I'm going to do, I'm committed to this. But when I got down there, I, I, I was talking, I recorded myself talking, recorded myself giving a message, and when I went, came back to edit and I'm like, no, I did not feel, I was not quote unquote feeling it. It was, it was not something I was passionate about talking about at the moment. That's not to say that I'm not t passionate about the topic, but I have to be in the moment excited about the topic for which I'm talking about. That's, for me, what I wanna do. And so, uh, I guess for me, what I'm saying is that one thing that helps me is to not try to force myself to create content when I'm not feeling it. This has been true for my podcast development newsletter. I created that just over, well, I guess maybe seven months ago now. And I said, I'm gonna create a weekly podcast development newsletter. And I've done really well. There's over six months worth of weekly content. But through this process, there have been several Fridays when an email newsletter did not go out. And the reason why is be, it's not because there's a lack of topics. I mean, gosh, there's, let me, let me just share with you some of the topics that are on my list here all about surveying your audience, having a laser focus on a target audience. Uh, I just had a student bring this one up again, this idea that I wanna reach real estate agents, but I also wanna reach investors in real estate, but I also wanna reach people who are lenders to people and even home buyers. And I'm like, let's talk about having a laser focus and what that means and the, the benefit of that. And I'm not gonna go into that right here, right now, but that's a topic that I definitely want to speak on. I wanna create a podcast development newsletter on. I wanna talk about the idea of repurposing content. I have some very strong, very passionate feelings about repurposing content, but I have to wait until I'm really feeling it, if you know what I'm saying. And, and But anyway, there, there's all kinds of other things that I could be talking about all the time for my podcast development newsletter for my audio podcast, The Cliff Ravenscraft Show, and even for this vlog. I even have, uh, let me just share with you, I'm gonna pull up my Over, Evernote here. I have down here, what if you said no to everything and started from scratch with the things that you're committed to? But yeah, there are so many topics, and, and it, again, it's not the lack of having things to talk about, it's just waiting for the inspiration to come. And that's why I have a hard time just scheduling times for recording. That's why I have a hard time just saying, I'm going to record every single day. Now, I will tell you that there was a time when I made myself vlog every single day and I came up with stuff. And there is something to be said about scheduling it and, and getting yourself into the mood and, and doing all of those things. But there are times, for me personally, where I could schedule it all I want, but I just don't feel it today. And today was almost one of those days until I finally decided, hey, you know what I am passionate about talking about right now? The fact that I have a hard time coming up with anything that I'm passionate about talking about right now. I guess if I had any piece of advice, always be prepared to go with the flow of inspiration. Have your gear set up somewhere or at least on hand. Make sure you have a routine that makes it super easy that if you all of a sudden feel inspired to write an email newsletter, that, that you have a, a setup system. It's like, hey, it only here's three steps. I, I open up this, I go here and I open this, I shut down everything over here to distract me and I start typing. That's that's whenever the inspiration hits for a newsletter, that's what I do. When it comes to my audio podcast, I have my studio downstairs. I know exactly, my recorder's already set up. All I have to do is turn it on, hit the record button, pull my microphone over, put my headphones on, and hit the record button, and I'm ready to go because that's all set up. And when it comes to creating one of these vlogs, there's a little bit more set up for this, but what I can tell you is that I do have 
And I have created a setup now for my vlog that makes it a whole lot easier for me to come out here on the front porch or even just to go anywhere and create video on the fly whenever I feel the inspiration. And that, my friends, is what's on my mind as I sit here and share with you my reflections from the front porch. <laughs> Some man.